And his adversary across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He is clad in red and blue apparel with a fighting record of two fights, which he lost. He is 24 years of age, coming is, all the way from Boca and fighting out of the Sea View Boxing Gym. The man known as Sule Mohammed. Is referee Nikwe Kote. First bout just about to begin. Referee Nikwe Kote will take the two boxes through the last tidbits. And then the fight will begin. It's good to see Sule Mohammed back in the ring. The last time he was here, he lost. Yeah. But it's not the end of the world. He's here to prove a point and show his uh, might against Sunday Adele. Yeah, here we go. Round one. Well, Prince, I'm looking forward to see how uh, Sule Mohammed fighting from Sea View Gym will react uh, after his loss last time in the ring. And at the way in, uh, he was saying that this time the fans should see he's going to get the victory and he's going to come out in a knockout. So let's see how Sule Mohammed is going to react. And also, he has a steam test in front of him in the name of Sunday Adelie. Sunday Adeleye trains out of the Palm Springs, the gym. He's a sturdy boxer. He's got power punches. But he's coming up against Sule Mohammed, who stalks his prey before landing those uh, jabs of his. So two different and outstanding features of these uh, two boxers. Sunday Adele, Adele in the yellow trunks, by the way. Fans will urge them on to go into uh, the inboxing, but obviously this is the first round. They'll have to be careful and size each other up. It's a good opening from Sunday Adele. The name should tell you that he's of Nigerian descent. Tries the uppercut, tries to work into the guard of Sule. Sule keeping his guard close to his face. Nice opening up once again. His power punches trying to get to the head of Sule. Mohamed Sule will return. He's got the longer reach, Sule. Sule, the jab is not coming. He's not been able to use them effectively as yet. Sunday, Adelie is trying to work on the upper part of his opponent. He's moving around a lot. Good the exchanges there. Both boxes still stand on their feet. It looks like the uh, looks like the yellow trunks is doing a lot more of the power hitting. Into the last ten seconds. Clearly has been a masterpiece of a show from Sunday. Adeleye ending round one. And Palm Springs Sunday Adeleye. And as we told you earlier on, Sule Mohammed, his last fight did not go the way he wanted. But he's shown a lot of improvement. Jim has worked on him and now it's a give and take affair. And the crowd would applause, will applaud, I beg your pardon. The showmanship of Sunday Adeleye, still keeping on his feet. Trying to avoid the bombs that have been thrown by Sule Mohammed. It's now an opportunity for him to throw a couple back and then goes into the clinch. Well, that's smart boxing there from Sunday Adeleye. 
always knows and smells danger, he moves away. But as a Sule Mohammed, who has seen that in round one, he didn't get it in round two. He's trying to retaliate very, very well. But Sandy Adelaide is making things difficult for him. There they go the game. Jirele punches. They go into the inside game, both fighters. But I'm sure Sule Mohammed needs to use his rate advantage well, establishing the job. That is what Sandy Adelaide has been doing all night. It's early days yet, but Sandy Adelaide, look at how he swift moves in, comes out, smells danger, he moves away. And there goes, he takes the body. Sandy Adelaide, smart boxing, and making things difficult for Sule Mohammed. Sule Mohammed yet to settle in his stride. Cost throws a couple of those power punches of his, lands on the face of Sunday Adele and quickly Sunday returns with a few body shots. Sunday came into this fight the heavier of the two boxers. But Sule has the longer reach. Yet to see him use it to his advantage. Trying to work through the uh, guard to see if he could score a few of those uppercuts. But quickly, Sule will throw one back. Lands a couple on the face of Adele. He goes in for the clinch. Sule is not too convinced that the clinch is good for him at this time. Well, Prince, at that point, I, I feel Sule Mohamed should, should be fighting at bay. He should be able to use his job to probe and get his way through. Because anytime he does that, you see that Sandy Adele, you find difficulties. Into the last 10 seconds of another competitive round. Round edge, over edge than him. We're into the third round. This bout is scheduled for six. And the uh, referee will signal the two boxers into action once again. It's Sunday Adelie in the yellow trunks. Continuing from where he left off. And the strategy of his is quite effective. Tries to work on the body of Sule and then goes in with those power punches of his. Yeah, yeah, Prince. And that is doing the magic for him. And there he goes again. He piles the pressure, backs Sule Mohammed. Then Sule Mohammed needs to regain his rhythm again. He needs to stick it at bay. He uses his job to probe ways. If he comes into the inside game, Sunday Adele wants that. And that is what Sule Mohammed should have for that. The exchanges are good. Both boxers are not scared to go toe to toe. And anytime Sandy Adele tries to go in for the clinch, it's the more business like Sule Mohammed would want to continue. Dropping those uh, hefty punches of his. Throwing those long arms of his, but to no avail. I think technically, Sunday, very adroit and gifted on his feet, moves around a lot. Yeah. So that's preventing Sule Mohammed from landing any meaningful long-range jabs. Watching closely from commentary position is Derek Niasai. Part of his duties is to ensure that he follows the performances and training of these boxers so he gets to know what kind of threats they come into the air bouts with and where their strong points are. Sunday still having a go at it. Just 
So Prince, at this point, it's a Sunday Adele who is doing enough to frustrate his opponent, Sule Mohammed. As it stands now, it's Sunday Adele who is doing enough for me, commentary position. He always finds a way to get points. And anytime Sule Mohammed gets to throw his punches, he has a way of swerving out and making the punches not having an effect on him. Those wild blows again coming from Sule Mohammed, but to no avail. Sunday seems to be on top of. He's going to the end. He four. gets a bit tired, but today I think it's been, it's, it's been good. Uh, Sule, we all know, is, is, is another difficult fighter, and will come in firing from all cylinders. So I'm not surprised. I mean, these are equals. These are strong guys, and they are showing quality. They are showing how strong they are. This is just the beginning of the night. Uh, uh, eight fights and our, our sure fans and the boxing lovers those who are watching on tv those who are close to run to the bukom boxing arena to come and enjoy yourself it's going to be a night a pack night because there are other uh, difficult uh, uh, bouts coming coming up thank you other bouts coming up it's going to make it a lot more interesting and this is how we start the interest for the night that's a straight one to the head of uh, Sandy Adelaide. Quick caution from uh, referee Kote. Keep your head up, he tells Sunday. And Sunday has got that flexibility getting close to uh, Sule Mohammed, there you see him trying to work through the guard. Guard has been upright by Sule. And again, when he gets the opportunity, he tries to use the longer reach of his to keep his opponent at bay. That's how effective that has been. Well, if you ask me, I don't know. Yeah, that's what Sule Mohammed needs to do. Because Sunday has the easiest task to do to get into the inside game, get close to Sule Mohammed, and when he gets close, you know what he does next. He gets in with an uppercut, some couple of combination of hooks and crossovers that is doing some damage on Sule Mohammed's part of view. But I think Sule Mohammed knows, and he should be using his job to keep Sunday at bay. That could be the key victory for Sule Mohammed. And one other interesting thing, you know, and we need to let our viewers know, is that Sule Mohammed does not come from this part of town, all the way from the north. Yeah. And it tells you how important it is to open up the sport. Derek spoke about this, especially a lot about this uh, during season one. Yeah. The opportunity given to the local boxers. It does not really matter where you come from. Once yeah. you can show yeah. and exhibit that you have the love and the art for boxing, there are coaches out there who will take you through the mill. Yeah. We're looking at a boxer who has come all the way from the upper regions of this country, yeah. and he is not. He has not disgraced himself, at least. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, talking about uh, standing toe to toe with a couple of opponents he has fought with. He has done. Oh. Fine. Round five it is. This bout is scheduled for six. The next three minutes will be quite crucial to both boxers. And you can tell from the corner of Sunday Adele. They're telling him to keep doing what he's doing. And there he tries to open up again. Goes to work on the body of Sule Mohammed. Sule manages to get a long one. Catching uh, Adele on the face. That's a wild miss. And then Sule has to do a lot of uh, defending as Sunday tries to open up once again. Sunday takes one to the head. And then it's close for these two boxers. And Prince, when you see it's all about timing right now, because you can see that Sunday keeps on doing what he started in round one. But I think Sule Mohammed's corner have pepped they are fighter that you know what when he comes in strong like that just time him get 
something that he doesn't see coming and when i talk about something that he doesn't see coming that is what catching him unaware so i'm sure that is the game plan that's sule mohammed is getting to the back that there they go again and you see sunday he's very very smart anytime he sees that sule is trying to gather some punch then he comes in with a clinch game smart boxing from sandy adele or need to keep the boxer at bay but then again the strategy has been a very good one he tries to open up and then keeps the pressure yeah on his opponent until sule is ready to throw back a couple of uh, jabs and then he would go in for the clinch tries to work on the body once again and then the clinch comes in full effect That was a two combination there that land clean on the face of Sule Mohammed. Uppercut getting through from uh, Sandy Adelie, but that's a left cross there from Sule Mohammed. Sizing each other very well. There comes the aggressiveness from Sandy Adelie. They're going for the clinch game again. And this time, referee has to step in. Sule Mohammed trying to use the jab, but there goes another punch on it own from Sunday Adele. Clinch game goes again. Referee comes in. Sule Mohammed. He needs to do something in this round. Last 10 seconds to go. Sule Mohammed. Stalking his opponent. But Sunday Adele knows that. Oh. And there goes the bell. With something drastic, and something dramatic, around. something crazy. Else, I think that Sundays, if he allows Sunday to go into this particular six round with the same style, I, I, I think that uh, 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 the judges will direct the win to uh, uh, Sunday because he's done enough from one to five, he's done enough to win the, 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 the fight. I, I expect Sule to do something magical. But it looks like it's still Sunday, Sunday. It's Sunday, Sunday, with some hurry of punches. It's just, 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 just do working. And fortunately, he has the fans too uh, behind him, so the energy is coming. And you know what? Yes, when he's when he, 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 he's able to throw the necessary punches, he goes in there, try to get uh, uh, Sule under his armpit, rest more, and then he goes back to start the work. So I think that Sunday clearly what he showed up to now. And uh, nothing short of a win will, will, will be for him. Quite a tall order for Sule Mohammed. As I keep saying, definitely not disgraced. But he also has some way to go. Sunday will just hold on for now. Pick up the points as he can till the uh, bell goes. I think brings when you look at uh, the size difference, it is Sunday who is using his size advantage. He tries to lean on Sule Mohammed. Anytime he sees that things are becoming difficult for him, he goes in and he leans on Sule, and that makes it difficult to adjust so that you can gather your punch and go back again. And that is something Sule Mohammed, so then he has not got any answers to that kind of strategy Sunday has for him in the ring but there it goes again and Sunday if it happens like that he loves it because he knows what he's doing he rests a while as Derek said then he comes in but as it stands out you can see that Sule Mohammed is really bleeding from his mouth there's been a cut on the mouth on Sule Mohammed that tells you it's been difficult from Sule Mohammed, but Sule tries to chase up. He knows what is at stake. He knows that if he doesn't do something extraordinary, the points will be going for Sunday. Sunday looks so tired there, but Sule Mohammed keeps the pressure on. But Sunday knows that Sule wants to keep the pressure on. He goes for the clinch game. And there comes the referee. And Prince. That's the referee going, deducting a point from Sunday. Point has been deducted from Sunday. I think for 
persistent uh, clinching, and you know he goes for the hook style. Yeah, yeah. He's been yeah, warned a few yeah, times. Yeah. And so I'm not surprised that the referee took that decision. He's opening up again into the last 10 seconds. It clearly has been a Sunday show. Yeah. On a Saturday night. <laughs> a Sunday show on a Saturday night. Spot on, friends. But well, there goes the bell. We have the verdict. Judge one scored about 57 56 for Sule Mohammed. Judge two scored about 58 57. He saw it for Sunday Adeleye. And finally, Judge three scored about 59 55. Our winner by a split points decision. The boxer all the way from Borga, Sule Mohammed. Well, there you had it. The result has been given, and Sule Mohammed is the winner by a split points decision. And this has sent the crowd into a lot of talking habits. Well, a few of them will dance to it. And uh, well, he's showing that he's got the moves as well. I like the way he's wriggling. But Niasai.